Hi guys, I'm Vagisha and today I'm going to talk about the 2011 film Contagion. Why are we talking about a film that's nine years old? Well, the answer is that this film has suddenly risen to popularity thanks to the recent outbreak of COVID-19 or popularly known coronavirus in India and the world around us. This movie uh, bears some striking resemblances to the world that we are seeing as of today. Uh, the basic premise of this film Contagion is that a virus is suddenly discovered in the world and it is uh, discovered as it spreads really rapidly all over the world and it originates from China and it originates from a bat and scientists, researchers all over the world, medical professionals have no clue what to do with this virus. There is no vaccine, there is no antidote, there is no uh, treatment available and it is spreading at a rate unprecedented accidentally uh, you know and people are uh, at completely they are completely clueless as to what is happening to the world around them this situation is almost almost uh, similar to what we are facing today in the world which is why this movie has suddenly become so popular because people are literally mind boggled wondering how a film nine years old could have probably foretold the situation that we are facing today. Contagion is directed by Oscar uh, winner director Steven Soderbergh, and um, I was actually surprised to watch this film because it's not a great film. Honestly, uh, there are other pandemic uh, based movies and series out there and this one fares pretty uh, below average to be honest. The problem about this film is the very very shoddy editing. like. The movie opens up a lot of plots which are all interesting. It has a lot of different uh, things going on at the same time. It takes you to different parts of the world. Everything is moving rapidly. That is fine. But it fails to close all the different uh, you know, plot lines that it opens. So you know, the, it feels as if the editing was done like chop 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 and the, it, half of the film actually makes no sense. You are left waiting uh, for the plot holes to close, waiting for the stories to wind up but that does not happen. So you know, it looks as if a lot of part of the film has been cut out from it leaving you with a film that's hardly making sense in, in its entirety. Contagion stars some big names from Hollywood like Matt Damon, Gwyneth Paltrow and Kate Winslet. However, I would say each of them is royally wasted in this film. I don't see them doing, uh, you know, uh, the, the movie doesn't do justice to these great uh, actors. Contagion is um, a film that, like I told you, is about a pandemic that spreads through the world, a virus that nobody has a clue about. Uh, the movie is about how different people react to that situation, how it brings out the best in some and the worst in some, which is, I think, true uh, for every situation. Like, what happens to us is only half of what the, our life is the rest of it is what how we respond to it and that's beautifully brought out in contagion how some people react to it by being generous kind by being uh, hard working by trying day and night to come to find an antidote or a vaccine while some people just go the wrong way they start looting they start robbing supermarkets there are even people who start shooting people and they kill each other they uh, fight with each other for possible antidotes for possible uh, you know cures and you know all of that so the movie actually uh, you know if you look at it on a deeper level you realize that how you react to a situation like this is what the movie is all about also, uh, Contagion has these eerie similarities to the situation around us today. Like there is this one scene where an official is telling um, in a meeting that, you know, the only thing we can do actually is to wash our hands, keep our mouths covered and stay away from people and self-quarantine. That, that scene literally gives you the shivers. Damn it, this is what we are doing exactly right now. Uh, everything uh, being said, um, I would not uh, tell you to not watch it because you know, if you are an intelligent viewer, which I know you are because you're of course viewing my video. So if you're an intelligent watcher, you will uh, take away some intelligent points from this film, which is to not panic to not let the panic, the fear get the better of you and to not spread rumors at all because there is this one character in the film who's like a freelance journalist come social media influencer who's just out there and he's coming up with controversy theories of his own and they're all baseless. I mean, that is something which is 
which really leaves a bad taste in your mouth and you wonder if people are actually doing that today also so that is something you take away from the film to not do these things not get panic to not spread rumors to only believe official sources and to not let uh, the situation the hardship get the better out of you to make sure that you remain calm that you remain focused and that you remain kind in the face of adversity Lastly I would tell you that since a lot of us are working from home uh, for these few days as a self quarantine is uh, you know prescribed by all the officials all the agencies around the world you could use uh, the extra time in case you get any to watch this film because even though it's not like you know the best of filmmaking that you would come across but you could actually uh, you know learn a few things of what not to do in case the situation worsens and also at the same time i would tell you all to stay calm hope for the best be prepared for the worst but hope for the best let's hope that uh, you know it doesn't come to uh, an adverse situation where we are forced to uh, you know behave in ways where we where, which we are not anticipating let's just hope that uh, we as uh, because you know we we are not the people who are actually on the front line that's another thing the movie teaches you the people on the front line are actually the medical professors the professionals the scientists the researchers so let's just hope and pray that they come up with a vaccine an antidote a cure as soon as possible and let's just be kind and um, let's just keep watching youtube because even if you have no memberships for netflix amazon prime hotstar and all the other paid applications youtube is still free and my videos are completely move 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 keep watching keep liking do subscribe share this video with your friends and make it go viral not like a virus but like viral content thanks for watching bye bye take care thought of a public award like i said uh kya hua friendly for is a film that has a a a a you know that's the uh shoot change nahi ho gaya fir ek dum niche sa pata hi nahi kuch